Hi, welcome to Gramster. Today I'm unboxing this Huawei Mate 10 Pro. This is their flagship phone for the US market. This one has the Leica dual camera. Huawei sent me this unit to review recently. Some items printed on the back of the box over here. Let's open this up. Uh, this one just says it's not for sale, it's a review unit. And before I get to the phone itself, let's see what else came in the box. Huawei design. A pliable case protective covering came with it. We got a SIM ejector over here. On this side, we have a USB type C type charging cable. Headphones, USB type C headphones. This one is USB type C to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter for the more common headphones. And here's your power adapter. For this power adapter, let me just take off this little protective covering here. The power adapter that came with this box, this says supercharge. It inputs at 100 to 240 volts, outputs at 5 volt 2 amps or 4.5 volts at 5 amps or 5 volts at 4.5 amps. Hmm, it's great that they provide a faster charger unlike Apple. And that's it. First thing I notice is that it does not have that little chin like the Apple smartphones. Got the dual like a camera. I think this is like a fingerprint sensor right over here. Power button, volume buttons on this side. On this side we have this SIM card. Let me pop this out first. So we have SIM on one side, the other side, I believe this is the SIM. Alright, it's powered up. On the bottom we got microphones, a speaker, and a USB Type-C one. Let's go through the basic setup process. SIM card, SIM card. I'll skip this for now. Yes, agree. Wi-Fi service, weather service. I'm connecting my home Wi-Fi here. I'm going to skip this piece. I don't want to sign to my Google account just yet. Eh, sure, I'll keep it on. Send system data. No, not just yet. I can copy from my other Android phone. Or iPhone. Hmm. Let me first start this up as a new device. Fingerprint touch controls, take pictures, stop alarm. All right, good to know. Okay. Let me do a pin for now. And for the fingerprint, I'm just placing my finger on the back over here, right by this sensor. It's got a very beautiful display. The Pro version 
This one has the OLED display. Check out a camera. Let's go next. Next. It's good to know. GPS tag. I'll do that later. Let's place that right there. Let's zoom in a bit. So at this point, at 2x, this looks like it's just optical zoom. Beyond 2x, it's digital zoom. There's less stabilization, but it still looks good. A little monochrome. There's a number of uh, HDR. Nice shot painting, time lapse. You can even download more if I wanted. Oh, you can even add watermarks to your photos. That saves time. I don't need, even need a computer anymore to add my watermarks. Let's head back here. Let's head to the settings page. Wireless networks. See if tethering is turned on. Let me put a SIM card in here. I'm just going to take the SIM card out from my other smartphone. Notice that here. Here's some of the other menus. So the interface, it looks. For the interface, it's got a Huawei skin on it, but it operates just like any other Android device. This one I got here, this one is 128 gig. Let's check out the, well, the batteries. Change it to battery percentage. Currently batteries at 87%. I got about a day and a half left. Just under a day and a half. Smart navigation. Let's check out display. So when it's on when it's on video, it crops it in just about double. Hey there, this is just a test. This is just a test. Check out some of the apps that came preloaded with this. Trans yeah, there are translator consumer information here. The tools, recorder, high care. What's high care? I'll check this out so later. On the left, this is the iPhone XS Max. On the right, this is a Huawei Mate 10 Pro. I'm placing them side by side. In terms of height, the iPhone's about two millimeters taller, also about two millimeters wider in terms of width. And in terms of thickness, they're about the same. Just that the iPhone may be a little bit thicker because the camera protrudes further than the Leica cameras on a Huawei. The XS Max does have a larger screen size than the Mate 10 Pro. But with the Mate 10 Pro, I don't have that little chin over here. I actually don't like that notch. I like this better. A nice clean cut. With the iPhone, all these icons are pushed up here. The Mate 10 Pro is the flagship phone for the US market. There are other phones in the national market, but we just haven't seen them yet in the US. Either case, stay tuned. This was just the first look of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. And stay tuned for my review video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.